Good morning guys, it's December 24th and it is cold here in sunny Florida. It's below freezing. It's probably about 30 degrees right now. The sun is coming up, it's about 9 a.m. And we're trying to heat the house and keep things going off of the solar. So I got about 6,000 watts coming in. Three arrays, one of them, this one, uh, actually shut down from over voltage because when the panels are really cold and you get bright sun on them they will uh, the voltage will spike and it had an over voltage but once the panels warm up they came back and we're in business 73 percent state of charge we got 11 amps going into the battery and the house is pulling about 5,000 watts I'm still on the old battery bank with the lead acid but uh, here's a sneak peek here, I'm making a little progress over here. And the EG4s, check it out, it's in place. And I got the safe next to it, needed, a, needed something for that spot. Filled it up nicely. But these aren't on yet, they're not wired up yet. It's gonna have to wait till after Christmas. So, yeah, I'm running four space heaters, a mini split, the pool pump, the rest of the house and we're still running the main uh, heat pumps off the utility even on top but this is helping a lot let's go see what's going on in the house all right so we finally got this room in shape ready for christmas got the family in town all right so what do we got here if it's up it's on solar if it's down it's on utility so almost everything is running on solar in the house you can see what it's pulling here on the meters the dryer is still on uh, utility the big stuff. All these are on solar and the well pump and the water heater are still on the utility. You see how much we're pulling on there? So here are two of the three heat pumps we're running off the utility right now. That's a five ton and a two and a half ton. The pool pump's running off the solar power and uh, that's to keep the, uh, there's a, a pool heater back there, a homemade DIY it's a mile of half inch PVC laying out in the sun and then you can see the water just we're just circulating it through there otherwise it would just bust it all up so I bet that's pretty cold Check one two. okay so now I'm upstairs and I'm I can monitor what's going on you see there we got our 73 percent state of charge pulling in 33 amps and about four or five thousand watts being burned in the house running my computer and look over here so one of these um, little space heaters I've got running off of my uh, Delta II. So uh, later on in the day, I'll just charge this up off the other solar. But it's 571 watts running this guy. And then uh, the solar's running these heaters, like this guy's running off solar. And Got another one in here, solar. So all these little space heaters add up to add a lot of heat. It makes our main system not have to work as hard. Let's go out and see if anything's frozen up. All right, so I'm just gonna take a peek back here and see how things are doing in the cold. So I shut off all the water back here and drained the pipes, drained all the water out of the camper. Tried to cover up these fruit trees. I got pear trees, orange trees. Some of the stuff I just gave up on. That's a banana. And uh, uh, what is that? I don't know. I, I gave up on some of these. I'm gonna do probably plant some more orange trees because they seem to do pretty good. This is the heater I was trying to save. This is the pool heater. So if I don't drain this, it would just bust that all up. Yeah. There's all kinds of irrigation in here, but hopefully it's drained enough to be all right. All right, so out here in the shop, this is cold in here. It's not heated, not insulated. Uh, but I don't think there's a whole lot that can go wrong out here, really. There's no, the water's all shut off, and so it should be fine. All right, so here's the outside of that mini split. Mr. Cool did a video on the install of that. It's not that hard to install. 
works great off the solar too, way better than the window units. Covered up my well pump, didn't freeze, but uh, I dripped a bunch of stuff like this, all these hose bibs. See, they're still dripping. So, basically, look at my son's car. He just drove down from Michigan yesterday through the blizzard. He was just ahead of it. <laughs> he made it, that's all that matters. All right, guys. So that's the uh, cold morning here, day before Christmas. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.